All right, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. How are everybody feeling today? All right, let's go ahead and give the Lord a hand clap today as we have our program. That's what I'm talking about. Visitor's Chapel Annual Men's Day Celebration. We are so happy that you took time out of your busy schedules to be here and to fellowship with us today and to celebrate with us today. We are so happy to have you here. And the pastor of our church is none other than Reverend Calvin Alexander Senior, and he welcomes you here to our sanctuary this morning. It's been a long time since we've been able to have our Men's Day program. I mean, as you know, a lot of things happened in the world over the last three years. And we had COVID for a couple years. We couldn't even have people come together like this today. So this is really a celebration. This is a big opportunity for us. And we thank you so much for celebrating with us and being here with us today. I'm Brother McDuffie, and I'm going to be your worship leader today. And we're going to start with a congregational hymn. I'm on the battlefield. I'm on the battlefield. So if you all would sing along with us and, and sing along with us in the hymn, we'll go ahead and get started with our congregational hymn. Is this in the right? Let's go ahead. I was an idol, I was alone and idle, I was a sinner too. I heard a voice from heaven saying there is work to do. I took my master's hand and I joined the Christian band. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I am on the battlefield for my Lord, for my Lord. And I promised him that I, I would serve him till I die. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I left my friends and kindred bound for the promised land. The grace of God upon me, the Bible in my hand. In distant lands I tried, crying, sinner, come to God. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I am on the battlefield for my Lord, for my Lord. And I promised to him that I, I would serve him till I die. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. Now when I met my Savior, I met him with a smile. He healed my wounded spirit and owned me as his child. Around the throne of grace, he appoints my soul a place. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I am on the battlefield for my Lord, for my Lord. And I promise to him that I, I could serve him till I die. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I am on the battlefield for my Lord, for my Lord. And I promise to him that I, I would serve him till I die. 
I am on the battlefield for my Lord. Amen. 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 Let's give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. Amen. We will now have our prayer at this time. And the person that will be giving the prayer will be none other than our senior pastor, Reverend Calvin J. Alexander, Sr. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Isn't he a good God? Oh, praise God. I'm so excited that you are all here. Let us look heavenward and give God the glory. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Father, for another opportunity to come together. Father, it's been a long time. You, you kept us apart, but now you've brought us back together again. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, for your goodness, your mercy. We thank you, Father, for your glory. We thank you, Father, for just being God all by yourself. There's none like you, none higher than you. You are God, and there's none like you, Father. We thank you for those that have come, for those that are yet on their way, oh God. We ask that you continue to reign and rule in this place. Have your way, O oh God. Have your way by your spirit. Let your spirit reign and rule in this place. We give your answer priority in this place, O oh God. Lord, touch the voices that will sing praises unto you. Touch the minds that will hear the praises that are being sung unto you. Touch us all, O oh God, so that we can rejoice in being together, lifting up our voices in praise and adoration unto you. You who are God, all by yourself. Mm. God, you've been good. So good. Mm -mm good. Better than good. We're here to worship you, Father. Let us do it in spirit and in truth. And we will be careful to give you all the praise, all the honor, all the glory that's yours and yours alone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We will now have Brother Bruce Cannon with a reading from the Old Testament. Thank you. I am reading from Psalms 37, 23, 24. All right. I lost the past. Let's see if I can find it. No, no, no. Psalms 37, 37, chapter 23 and 24. The Lord make it firm that the steps of the one who delight in him, though he may stumble, he will not fall. For the Lord upon all him and his hand. Thank you for the reading of the word. We will now have a scripture reading from the New Testament, which will be read by Brother Calvin J. Alexander II. I'll be reading from Luke chapter 16, verses 10 through 12. Coming from the New International Version. Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. And whoever is dishonest with very little will also be on dishonest with much. So if you have not been trustworthy in handling worldly wealth, who will trust you with true riches? And if you have not been trustworthy with someone else's property, who will give you property of your own? Amen. 
God bless the hearers, doers, and readers of his word. Amen. Amen. You may not be seated. We will now have the welcome at this time that will be read by the senior patriarch of our church, Brother Truman Reynolds. Please give Brother Reynolds a hand of applause, y'all. Well, I hope this mic works. I just want to say welcome to everybody. Uh, it's not too often that we get appreciated um, men stand tall, men stand strong, but we don't ignore that part that sticks with us, the women by our side, okay? Uh, it's not a simple thing, but we have to put ourselves together and say thank God for the blessing that he has given us to come this far. And I see, I see a lot of young faces in this room, you know. Uh, how many of you go get, get to my place? I, I got 85 years. Amen. Okay. God has blessed me for 85 years. And <laughs> I just want to say to everybody, Welcome to this Men's Day service. Welcome to all of you. God bless all of you. And we all look forward to this blessed day. Thank you. Amen, amen, amen. There you go right there. Brother Ray, 85 years young. Come on. Still drive himself around. Right. Still living by himself. Yeah. Come on, some of us in our 40s and can't take care of ourselves. Come on, give him a hand clap once again. Thank you for that welcome, Brother Ray. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. At this time, as we get ready to get into our program, we're going to have... The Visitors, a Visitors Chapel AME Men's Choir. The Visitors Chapel AME Men's Choir. So I'm going to tell you right now, I already spoke to the pastor. He already said, don't hold in none of your amens. Don't hold in none of your hand claps. There's no need to save them for next week. So let them fly today. God will give you some more for next Sunday. All right. Say a word, Ralph. Hey, tell Ralph, tell Ralph, say a word <laughs> before we start. Y'all start playing. No, really. Go ahead, y'all. Okay. We are so excited that you are all here. God has been a good God all week long. And we come together to worship him in spirit and in truth to show him by our voices how much we adore him, how much we thank him. I want to thank you, Lord. I want to thank So good, been so good. Be 
y'all been faithful to the Lord? I say, how many y'all been faithful to the Lord? I don't care, but what you do, you need to be faithful. We got this young man getting ready to sing this song, and it's called, You've Been So Faithful. Brother KJ, come on and sing your song. As I look back over my life Come on! I can see how your love has guided me Even though I've done wrong You never left me alone But you forgave me And you kept on blessing This I recall to my mind Therefore I have hope it's because of your mercies that we are not consumed Because our compassions fail not, they are new every morning Great is our faithfulness, great is our faithfulness of your mercies that we are not consumed because our compassion fails not it's renewed every morning great is our faithfulness great is our faithfulness you've been so faithful Oh, 
you've done for me. How you lose my shackles and you set me free. How you made a way out of no way. Turn my darkness into day. Give me my joy in my time of sorrow. Oh, for my tomorrow. Peace in my time of storm. Strength when I'm weak and worn. I can never repay you, Lord, for what you've done for me. How you lose my shackles and you set me free. How you made a way out of nowhere Turn my darkness into day You give my joy in my time of sorrow Hope for my tomorrow Peace in my time of storm Strength when I think and warn You've been Lord, you've been so faithful Sometimes I didn't do what you wanted me to do. Lord, you've been so faithful. Even though sometimes I didn't go where you wanted me to do. Lord, you've been so faithful. See, I can never repay you, Lord, for what you've done for me. How you lose my shackles and you set me free How you made a way out of no way Turn my darkness into day Even my joy in my time of sorrow Oh, for my tomorrow Peace in my time of storm Strength when I'm weak and born I can never repay you, Lord, for what you've done for me How you lose my shackles and you set me free How you made a way out of no way Turn my darkness since today, you've been my joy in my time of sorrow. Hope for my tomorrow. Peace in my time of storm. Strength when I'm weak and worn. You've been what you've been so faithful. of God. I say, how many of y'all know you're here by the grace of God? Ooh, yeah. How many of y'all know y'all here by the grace of God? Heartaches. I had so many heartaches. I'm still here. I'm still here. Oh, Lord, I've been troubled, but I'm still here. I'm still here. Thank you, Lord. 
Bruises I've taken my lumps and bruises But I'm still here I'm still here Disappointments I had so many disappointments But I'm still here I'm still here I do it all I do it all I made it through Another day's journey God kept me here Yes he did I do it all I do it all I made it Another day's journey yeah. God kept me Listen, listen, how many of y'all have been through this? Listen Lied on Many times I've been lied on But I'm still here Burdens to bear so many burdens, but I'm still here. Oh, dark days, I had so many dark days, but I'm still here. I'm standing here today No matter what may come my way In the presence of Him In my time of need Standing right here To see you by me I it Oh yeah It's journey But do it all. Oh, I made it through yeah. another day's journey. Yeah. God kept me. Listen, listen, y'all. I made it. I made it. I made it. I made it. Yes, I made it. Yes, I made it. But I'm still, I'm still here. Y'all don't hear me. Listen, about two years ago, a lot of us standing out here tonight, we lost some loved ones. But when you look around, your left and your right, you still here. By the grace of God. But I, I'm still here. Oh, yeah. I made it, I made it, I made it. 
it step by step. Yes, I made it. 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 Listen. I made it. Some of us didn't make it. Yes, I made it. But one of these old days, I'll see you. We don't need our loved ones. I know I am. And I know about you. I made it. I want that love. Yes, I made it. I want that love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all we can do. God, I made it, I made it, I made it, <laughs> yes I made it, come on where are you, help me out, come on help me out there, you know sometimes you don't know what life is doing to you, you don't know if it's coming from the left or to the right, you don't know if you're up or you're down, all you can do is just hold on. Hold on to the unchanging hand of God. Know that he won't let you go. Know that whatever comes your way, God's got you. God's got you. God's got you. God's got you. I made it. Oh, yeah. Yes, I made it. But I'm still here. I'm still here. I made it. I made it. I made it. I made it. By the grace of God, yeah. yes, I made it. I'm still standing here today. I'm still here. Lord, I'm in love. Oh, I'm in love. 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 Again, come on, put them hands together for the Lord. 
Thank you so much, Visitor Chapel AME Men's Choir, for the selection of songs. It was really a, a blessing to us and really pleasure to our ears, and it just inspired us to get this whole day going. So now that we got the momentum going, let's not let it stop now. So now at this time, this is our time for our worship and giving at this time. So at this time at Visitor's Chapel, we have a few different ways in which you can give. The first way in which you can give is right here within the sanctuary. Our church officers will come down, they will pass a basket or give you an envelope and you could put your gift or your offering in there. Now if you don't have anything that you could put in the basket or anything like that at that time, that's okay because we have two digital ways in which you can give. The first digital way Way you can give is Cash App. Now our Cash App is dollar sign VCAM El Paso 915. That's dollar sign V C A M E E L P A S O 915. And then you'll see a beautiful picture of our church right there. And in the middle section, you can just put men's day there and give your offering a gift. Then you can also give via Giverfly. That's G I V E L I F Y dot com. And then when you go in there, make sure you put in Visitor's Chapel, El Paso, Texas, because there's more than one Visitor's Chapel. So we want to make sure that your gift or offering gets to the right place. And also, those of you watching on YouTube or Facebook Live, you might not be here in the sanctuary, but if you do want to give, you can also give by U.S. Postal Service. And our address here is 518 North Australia Street, El Paso, Texas, 79903. Now, when you fill out that check, you ain't got to write all that visitor's chapel out. That's too much for you. You could just put VCAM on there. And then, of course, in the memo section, you could just put men's day there. Now, don't forget, when you seal up that envelope, you got to go ahead and put that forever stamp on there. I like that they call them forever stamps now because they forever raising the price of stamps. Am I right about it? <laughs> But go ahead and make sure you put your stamp on there, drop it in the mailbox, and one of the officers of our church will make sure that your gift or offering comes back to the body of the church so we can continue to do the great things that we do here at Visitors Chapel AME Church. And we don't take your kindness or generosity lightly, and we appreciate everything that you do for us because you allow us to support the community here with your generosity and kindness. Now, we'll give everybody a moment to go ahead and finish taking care of their offering or gift at that time and then we'll pray over the offering. Okay, we will now go ahead and pray over the offering. Dear Lord, we thank you for the gifts. We thank you for the givers, Lord. We thank you for those who weren't able to give right now, Lord. But we come to you, Lord, being thankful because we know you are the ultimate multiplier. So we ask that you take all these gifts and all these offerings and multiply them and let them flow over, Lord, so we can continue to do more of your great work here in this community. We ask this prayer in the powerful, magnificent name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen again. All right. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for your generosity and your kindness, because, you know, we know how hard it is out here today and we know the difficulties that everybody's facing. But at the end of the day, we always need that support. So we thank you for it and we don't take it lightly. But without further delay, following the program, as you can see, next up, we're going to have our guest speaker getting ready to come up. Now, before our guest speaker comes up here and speak, we got to give him some edification. We got to go ahead and edify him. And so we're going to go ahead and introduce this, this gentleman that's going to come here and bless you with some words. The person that we have that's come to speak is Dr. Michael Vincent Williams. He is the son of James and Dolores Williams of Etta, Mississippi. He is the oldest sibling in a close-knit family of seven sisters and three brothers. And he has two beautiful daughters, and he has a beautiful son. He is happily married to the beautiful and talented Dr. Patrice Wims. Wims earned his BA in history 
in sociology and an MA and a PhD in history from the University of Mississippi. His research and teaching interests include social and political resistance movements, grassroots activism, civil rights struggle and conflict, black intellectuals and radical and various aspects of African history. He has spoken extensively on the civil rights movement and has received numerous awards and recognition for his scholarship, teaching, and community service. Williams is the author of the bibliography Mega Evers, Mississippi Mater, University of Arkansas Press 2011, and has published in the, the Great, the Journal of African American Studies, the International Journey of African American Studies of Mississippi History, and co-author of the work in the Journal of Borderland Studies, a contributing essay in the Anthology of the Civil Rights Movement in Mississippi, University Press of Mississippi 2013, and recent essay in the Anthology Race, Labor, and Violence in Mississippi Delta. Wills is the director of African American Studies Program, Black Student Unit Advisor, and History and Professor of History at the University of Texas El Paso. Now I'm glad that Dr. Williams gave me the short condensed version of his bio. But you know what they say, the longer the bio, usually the less important the person. So by him giving the short bio, it's because he sp his actions and what he does speaks for himself. So without any further ado, please stand to your feet if you're able and put your hands together as we receive Dr. Williams. Good afternoon to each of you. Can you hear me? Again, I'm going to say good afternoon to each of you all who are present here today. And I want you to holler back at me so I'll know that I'm not just visiting, but I am at Visitor's Chapel. Come on now. Amen. So I'm going to Amen. say good afternoon to you once again. All right. Now, as a younger person, I cannot stand before my elder who has 85 years and propose to speak without getting the permission of an elder to do so in his presence. And so before I open my mouth, I'm going to ask if an elder gives me permission today to say what it is I want to say. Do I have some permissions? Yeah, amen. All right. I got a little scared for a minute. I thought I was going <laughs> Before beginning any presentation, I always give honor and respect to God the Father and Mother, to the holy ancestors who guide my path daily. I work extremely hard to make sure that I am worthy of their attention. I also give honor to the elders, both present and those who have transitions, both who have given us legacies worthy to be followed. In their absence, I give honor and respect to my mother and father. I pledge my undying love and devotion to my two daughters and my son and my three triplets who are on the way. <laughs> and again, <laughs> oh, it's going to be real busy in the Wisdom household in just a little while. I also give my honor, respect, and love to my beautiful wife, Patrice. I must also thank Mr. Emory McCleary and Visitors Chapel for the opportunity to speak here today and to Pastor Kelvin Alexander Sr. for the welcoming me to this holy space. Now I want to speak briefly today on the topic of the necessity of men mentoring our young men and the younger generation as a whole and mentoring them for life because when we do it right they will be an asset to the church and to the community. Now I have a lot to say. In the words of the famed historian, Dr. John Henry Clark, as he used to say, I've got a lot to say, but a short time in which to say it. I will not be long. Now we've gathered here today to acknowledge and celebrate the concept and practice of manhood. 
the concept and practice of leadership and to acknowledge and celebrate the necessity and practice of true mentorship as it relates to our young men and dare I say our young women. We are responsible for all of them. When it comes to the practice of mentorship, men as leaders today, we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of personal baggage that we need to check. We got some sitting down and getting ourselves together to do before we go forward. There has to be some self-reflection inward before we can project knowledge and understanding outward. Men, because I'm here to talk to you particularly. As leaders today, we have to understand that true leadership is servant leadership. And it requires the kind of boldness that men of God must have. Men as leaders today, we're going to have to understand the importance of standing up for right, no matter the consequences or where and when we encounter it. We cannot be afraid in this life. It was civil rights activist Stokely Carmichael who argued that, quote, the secret of life is to have no fear. It's the only way to function, end quote. If you're going to be effective mentors to our young men, they're going to have to see us in the flesh doing the work under some uncomfortable and sometimes fearful situations. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. who argued that, quote, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands in times of challenge and controversy. Right. Our young men are being challenged and many of them are behaving in some controversial ways, some unrecognizable ways. We've got to reach out to them and give them another way of looking at themselves, at looking at the world and understanding their exalted place within it and the responsibility they have for fixing the issues of the day beginning with themselves. There's power, men, in the human touch. And we have got to reach out there and touch our young people. We owe the elders, our children, and our community some positive examples of leadership, some positive examples of mentorship, some positive examples of manhood that they can recognize and then follow. It's hard to tell young people to get off the video games if we got video consoles in our living room. Well, say that. Say that. It's hard to tell young men to stay out of clubs if they're bumping into us in the clubs. For our young men, the age-old adage of do what I say and not what I do will not work. We got to be the examples. Men and leaders of the day, we must come to understand what that really means. The sacrifices that come with that, the late nights that come with that, and the need to go back to granddaddy and grandma who faced down the Ku Klux Klan at night, who stood up against white supremacy in the day, who put food on the table, and then had time to raise up a group of men and women to continue their struggle to get us to where we are today. There are lessons of man and womanhood in the old ways that our ancestors and our elders lived. The ways they expressed and carried themselves and the lessons they taught their children. Our leadership when it comes to our young men should be enhancing their skill sets and confidence. It should be showing them how powerful, necessary, and capable they are in all circumstances. If our leadership does not reflect this, if our leadership is not an asset to the community, if our leadership is not, in the words of black psychologist named Akbar, quote, turning boys into men, if it's not doing all of that, then we're not doing what we were meant to do. There are examples to be set. Men as leaders today, we're going to have to learn how to listen to our young men to effectively hear what they're saying to us verbally as well as what they're saying with their humanity. Our leadership has to be real. It has to be genuine. People can tell when you are not serious about what you do and when you're not genuine about what you say. Amen. Can't fool these young people with pretty words. They looking for some action. Amen. No, he smiled. That brother said he looking for some action. <laughs> he ain't heard enough words. 
Finally, because I told you I wasn't going to be long. When it comes to mentorship, we're going to have to understand how important, and I feel real good about saying this part because of Brother Reynolds. But what I say here, in order for us to be real good at mentorship, we have to understand how important women are in the process. When I heard him say that, I said, oh boy, I'm on the right track. We cannot effectively do what we need to do, be who we need to be, lead who we need to lead if there's no working relationship with our respect for the capability of women who lead and mentor each and every day. It must be a symbiotic relationship with the well-being of the people as the driving force behind every decision we make. What we do with our lives each minute and second of the day matters, and particularly those who we do not know are watching what we do. All right, say that. Say that. It was actor Denzel Washington, and I don't often quote actors, but I'm doing it here because we got some young people here too who know who he is. It was actor Denzel Washington who argued that, quote, show me a successful individual and I'll show you someone who had a real positive influence in his or her life. I don't care what you do for a living. If you do it well, I'm sure there was someone cheering you on or showing the way, a mentor, end quote. It would be Dr. John Henry Clark who became the premier historian of Africa the African diaspora, and black people worldwide who pointed to the importance of his mentor, Arturo Alfonso Schomburg. He says, I thank Arthur Schomburg for he really is responsible for what I am and what value I have in the field of African history and the history of black people the world over. He literally trained me not only to study African history and the history of black people the world over, but to teach history as well. Men, as leaders and mentors of young men, we must ensure that they feel this way about us because what we gave them changed their lives. Always remember that we rise by lifting others. That's the true measure of effective leadership, effective mentorship, and men as leaders of the day. That will be the defining point that others will use to measure the strength and validity of our own manhood. There's work to be done. And our children, our children's children, the upcoming generations and our people are what's at stake. Young men, talking to you right now, particularly these two brothers, because they ain't took their eyes off me. Young men, hear me when I say, we are dependent on you to continue the work yet left undone. It is time for all of us to get to work like our lives depended on it. Because it does. Because the days of playing around for us as a people, and men in particular, the days of playing has to be over. They brought me here to talk not to play, and I hope I've said something that will resonate in your heart, move you to action, mentor our young, our young men, and protect the most valuable asset we have as a people, and that is our children. Go to work. Thank you. Powerful, powerful message by Dr. Williams. Let's give Dr. Williams another hand clap. He did not come here to play. He did not come here to waste our time. And I think the message was clear. No longer will we not stand up. No longer will we always be worried about the consequences and worried about what's happening. If we got to be men and we got to stand up as men, and as Dr. Williams said, if we see it wrong, then we need to stand up and do what we got to do until it's right. 
No more sitting on the sideline. No more saying, I wonder how this is going to affect me. Or you know what? This doesn't impact me at all. So I'm just going to sit back and watch it. No more being a sideline player. We got to get involved. So thank you, Dr. Williams, for those words. And any young man that's in here today, if you don't have a mentor, you better go ahead and find one of these young, these, these older gentlemen here and get their business card, get their point of contact. Don't wait till tomorrow. Go ahead and get you somebody to start mentoring you right now today. Because you are in a house full of educated men. And as the word says, it's in the house. So your mentor is already in the house. So don't you dare walk out of here without making a contact with a mature brother that can help mentor you and guide you. Or better yet, get you more than one. Have two of them that can help and mentor you and guide you. I was telling my son earlier today, I said, son, I'm proud that you're going to be going to UTEP. But I want you to know, if you need somebody to talk to, there are people there at UTEP that you could talk to. I mentioned Dr. Williams. I mentioned Brother McCleary. I said, there's people there that can support you. So young men, get you a mentor. Let that mentor guide you. You know, the mentor, listen to the young person, as Dr. Williams said. By the same token, young man, young men, make sure you listen to your mentor because he's been your age. You ain't never been his age before. All right? So make sure you listen. So moving along with the program, brothers and sisters. Moving along with the program. I hope y'all ready to pray some more. Y'all already done? Y'all already done? Y'all ain't ready to praise no more? Because I'm telling you, I be hearing them down the street. See, because, you know, we, we start church a little earlier in the AME. See, we start at 10 a.m. So they don't start till like 11 a.m., 11.30. So, you know, when I'm leaving church and I'm driving around the corner and I come right there by Mount Zion, I hear them in there jamming. So I know they're going to bless us with something beautiful today. So we now welcome. Mount Zion Baptist Church that will have a couple musical selections for us. Mount Zion, if you're here, are they here? We're going to go ahead and we're going to get with the other church that's right across the way. And see, I'm going to tell you something interesting about that church. See, Shiloh and Visitors Chapel have a long history. See, a lot of folks don't know that at one time, Shiloh and Visitor's Chapel used to worship together. They would take one Sunday and have a Baptist service, and then one Sunday they have an AME service. Shiloh was getting some work done to their church. But see, that's back when we believed in community. That's back when we believed that we were all neighborhood and community churches. And see, that's how we should be operating in fellowship in any way. Come on, don't y'all have me up here praying by myself now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to receive Shiloh Baptist Church. We'll come up here and have a musical selection for us. Let's give them a round of applause. Let's clap our hands together. Is this my God? God bless each and every one of you here. I know it's annual men's day. God is in the blessing business, amen? He continues to bless each and every one of us because we're still here. Amen? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lord, I wonder 
to live for thee oh yeah. every day day and hour no let be your spirit no let it be I say, ooh, 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 is saving power. Oh, Lord, Lord, keep my heart and keep my hand. My hand. Oh, oh, and keep my soul.
I got so much oh, to thank God. To thank God for and windows and God open, God open the door for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life, I'll get praise it. I'll get praise it. Didn't have to do it. Didn't have to do it. But he did. But he did. I got so much. To thank God for the window. God opened the door for the rest of my life. I'll get praise it. He didn't have to do it. He didn't have to do it. But he did. I got so much. I got so much. To thank God for every window. God open. God open the door for the rest of my life. Rest of my life. I'll get praise it. I'll get praise. He didn't have to do it. He didn't have to do it. But he did. But he did. Give it to him. There were some times in my life I had to walk alone. I even had so-called friends try to make me a stepping stone. I say faith for the word of God, for the word is true. And Lord, I'm still standing right here in this song because of you. I got so much, I got so much to thank God. Thank God for every window. God open, God open the door for the rest of my life. I'll get praise him. I'll get praise He didn't have to do it. He didn't have to do it. But he did. But he did. Come on, boy. There were some times in my life I had to walk alone. I even had so called friends try to make me a stepping stone. I stay faithful to the word of God. For the word is true. And Lord, I'm still standing right here. Cause it's all because of you. I got so much. I got so much. To thank God. To thank God for every window. God open, God open the door. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. I'll get praise it. I'll get praise. He didn't have to do it. He didn't have to do it. But he did. But he did. There was some times in my Come life on, I had to walk alone. Oh. I even had so called friends try to make me a stepping stone. Oh. I stay faithful to the word of God, for the word is true. And Lord, I'm still standing right here in this all because of you. I got so much. I got so much. To thank God, to thank God for every window. God open, open the door for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life, I'll get praise it. I'll get praise. He didn't have to do it. He didn't have to do it, but he did. But he did for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life, for the rest, for the rest of my day. His word I trust. His word I trust and obey. And obey. I owe the Lord. I owe the Lord. Come on, son. I owe. I owe the Lord. I owe. I owe the Lord. Yes, I do. I owe the Lord. Lord, I owe you. I owe the Lord. Yes, I do. I owe the Lord. My family. I owe the Lord. Is doing fine. I owe the Lord. We're not the only one. I owe the Lord. You're keeping in line. I owe the Lord. Somebody out there. You've been through the storm. I owe the Lord. You've been through the rain. I owe the Lord. Out of all you've been through, I owe the Lord. You're still here. I owe the Lord. 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 Yes, I do. I owe the Lord. I got so much. I got so much. To thank God, thank God for every window, God open, God open the door for the rest of my life, 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 for the rest of my life. I'll give praise it. I'll give praise. He didn't have to do it. 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 
have to do it. He didn't have, have to, to do it. it. He didn't have to wake me. He didn't have to wake me up in the morning. He didn't have to do it. He didn't have food on my table. He didn't have clothes on my back. He didn't have shoes on my feet. He didn't have to do it. 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 He
That'll work. Well, all right, y'all. We're just trying to get set. There's a Well, all right, as he said, we're the bread of life from uh, church. We are Methodist, Christian Methodist Episcopal, and to me, we are all the same. You know, this is like my uh, second home church. What am I doing? Keep, reason why I keep looking left and right, I'm counting. I'm seriously, when I say I'm counting, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 11, Lord, 12, 13, Lord, have mercy. I just, we was had to sing over there. The thing that upset me, are there always more women in the body of Christ? men. And I, I, I said this, I said, I bet you I go over to Visitor's Chapel and see more women in the body of Christ than men. And I was wrong. This is a first. Just letting you know, this is truly a first. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm, a first time. I'm talking to you. Ooh, the head. In the house of the Lord, I appreciate it. <clears throat> we are called for Christ. For Christ. So we're going to do a little something for you, real quick. And I was really uh, impressed with the hello. I was, and I was so surprised to see my friend. I didn't know he could sing like that, Colin. I didn't know. Yeah, way to go, Colin. I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of him myself. I, I tell you, I work with the man. I, I, I am. I love him. Let's do this. Let's do it. Jesus is real. Oh, oh, I'm waiting on you. Okay. We'll be ready in a minute. Be ready in a minute. So while we wait, I want to say to see Rick, there was this pastor. He was preaching up in the pulpit, and every time he would preach, I don't know, let me know if you heard this already, every time he would preach right towards the end of his sermon, he would always start slurring his words. And the deacon was sitting over there in the corner, and they was like, why pastor always slur at the end of his service? Every Sunday, he's doing the same thing. And the pastor had this cup, a goblet, and he would sit up there, and he'd be preaching, and he'd start sipping out of the goblet, and the more he sipped, the more his words slurred, right? And they sit there, and they sit, and one of the deacons, can say it there. They say, I tell you what, next Sunday, I'm going to get the pastor because I'm going to find out what's in that cup. So next Sunday came, the pastor standing up there throwing down, sweating. He grabbing his goblet. He's just sipping and sweating and, and sweating and just sipping and slurring his words. And out of the blue, the deacon jumped up from the corner. As the pastor got ready to take a sip, he snatched that cup from him and he yelled to the rest of the people in church, said, see, I knew it. It is wine. And the pastor looked at him and said, that Jesus done done it again. Sometimes when I'm feeling low, nowhere to go, Jesus comes along and he makes me strong. For I know, oh, Jesus is real. Jesus is real. I know the Lord is. 
is real to me. Yes, he will. Jesus is real. I know the Lord is real to me. Sometimes when I'm feeling down, no one around. Jesus is a friend that I found. For I know oh, Jesus is real. I can feel him in my hands. I can feel him in my feet. I can feel the Lord all over me. For I know. Jesus is real. I can feel him in my heart. I can feel him in my soul. I can even feel it from the crown of my head to my toes. For I know. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus is real. Amen, amen, amen. Let's do it. A man stood up to me and he said, how can you smile when the world is crumbling down? And I said, well, here's my secret. When I want to cry, I just look around and I see that I'm getting by. And I hold on, hold on. A change is coming. A change is coming. I said, hold on, hold on. Don't you worry. Don't be out of I said, hold on. Hold on, you can make it, you can make it. Hold on, hold on, the way everything will be alright. Some people like the way, some people like to hide, some people like to run away from the pain inside. They just show business and do whatever you wanna do. But if it don't work out, what you ought to do? I said, hold on, hold on. A change is coming, a change is coming. I said, hold on, hold on. Don't you worry, hey, I said, hold on, hold on. You can make it, you can make it. Hold on, hold on. Everything, everything will be alright. You know, there are times in our life when we have ups and downs, things get bounced around. We seem to understand why things are happening, but they happen for a reason. But you see, when you have those days like that, this is a little love I kept getting rid of. La 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 Hold on, hold on. I said, 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 hold on, hold on. I said,
hold on, hold on. I say hold on, hold on. Everything. I say hold on, hold on. You can make it. You can make it. I say hold on, hold on. Everything, everything will be alright. Say la 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 la. One more time, say, say, hold on, hold on. Your change is coming. Say, hold on, hold on. Don't you worry. I say, hold on, hold on. You can make it. You can make it. I say, hold on, hold on. Just hold on, hold on. I said, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I say, hold on, hold on. Hold on. La 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He is worthy of all the praise. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. We have come. We have shared the word of God. We have sung. We have been blessed by music. There's no way we can leave this place without offering the invitation. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet, please. Maybe there's somebody in here who does not know the Jesus that we have all been singing about. The Jesus that has lifted our lives from the muck and the mire and turned us around and turned us into new creations. Hallelujah. Because only God can do stuff like that. Amen. God does math in a way that nobody else can do it. God does with men the way nobody else can do it. Hallelujah. If there's somebody under the sound of my voice that wants to know the joy of Jesus, I invite you to come and give your life to Christ. I'm not asking you to come and be a member of this church. I'm asking you to give your life to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he's the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only one that can save you. He is the only one that died on a cross and got up again. There was a whole bunch of them that died. But Jesus was the only one that got up again. With all power. <laughs> Glory to God. All power in his hands. He's the only one that did it. And he did it because of his love for the Father. And because the Father loved us so much, Jesus said, not my will, but thy will be done. He said, let this cup pass from me, Father. Because I don't want to do it. I can imagine, if what you, just a second, imagine. You, you know what's about to happen. You know that fa the Father wants you to go let them stick nails in your hands. And stick spikes in your feet. And then if that wasn't enough, they're going to stab you in the side too. But he did it because he loved the Father. And the Father loved us. He said, son, I couldn't send nobody else. I couldn't send nobody else. Yeah. Nobody could do it but you, son. Ha! Yeah. Ah, glory to God. So God wrapped himself in flesh. He came born of a human yeah. and the Holy Spirit yeah. to die for all the sins of the world. He died for me. He died for you. He died for everybody. He did it over 2,000 years ago. But he knew that we would be here at this moment offering you Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. Yes. Will one come and surrender their life to Christ? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Don't be afraid. 
everybody in here is loving you just as much as the Father right now. If you come, hallelujah. You know, I, I, was, I was reading my Bible and it said that the angels in heaven rejoice when just one gives his life. Just one. I'm going to tell you something. I rejoice too. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. to God who's the head of my life. Um, I already know the Lord and we have a deep relationship. A deep, deep relationship because he has been keeping me. And I'm just standing before my VCAM family to tell you all that I love y'all. I'm going to miss y'all. It's been three up and down years, but the community really kept me going. And I bless God for that. And I love all of you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We're going to pray for my sister. They're leaving out first thing in the morning. We're going to pray for traveling mercy from God the Father. Father God, we thank you. We praise you. We magnify your holy name, oh God. This your child, Lord. You brought her through the last three years. You kept her. You held her close in your arms, oh God. And Father, we know from what you had done for her that you'll do it for others. That you'll continue to do it for her, oh God. No matter where she is, whether it be on the East Coast, the West Coast, the North, the South, whatever, you are there, oh God. We believe and trust in you and we know that you will continue to keep a father father we ask for your anointing for your anointing from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet father we ask for your love to surround her and encapsulate her we ask for you to stay with she and her husband as they travel the highways oh god we ask for your protection as they travel the highways we ask for your love to keep them close together and keep you in their way oh god and father most of all, we ask that you keep them in your will. Keep them in your will, oh God, so that you can continue to pour out your blessings on them. And we will give you the praise, the honor, and the glory that you alone deserve. Father, we, th we thank you for this, our sister, while she was here working in your vineyard. Your vineyard, oh God. People say, oh, yeah, this your church, Reverend Alexander? No, it's not mine. This is God's church. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. And we are here to do the work of the Father. Sheep begat sheep. And we are here to begat more for the Father, to bring him glory, to bring him honor. We thank you, Father, for this, our sister. We thank you for the work that she's done, the diligent work. Father, continue to be with her. Stay with her. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Oh, I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Oh Lord, I give myself away. Come on, y'all. Come on. I give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. Come on. I 
I give myself, I give myself to you. Listen. My life is not my own. To you I belong. Myself, oh yeah. I give myself to you. One more time. Your life is not my own. Long. I give myself, I give myself to you. Amen, 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 amen. Let's give the Lord another hand clap. Brothers and sisters, as we get near the end of our program today, I just want to say I'm so blessed and so thankful to see all these beautiful faces in our sanctuary. It really brings joy to all of us. Our pastor is encouraged. He welcomes you. He's so thankful that you're here today. But I want to give a special thanks to Brother Emery McCleary, who put this together. Let's give him a hand clap. I mean, he put in so much work to put this together. I know he's probably blowing up everybody's phone, calling everybody all the time, and, and then calling you again, saying, you sure you're going to be here? Are you sure? But y'all came through for him. And that shows what type of person Brother Emmy McCleary is, for people to show up for him. And we thank you for that. And Brother McCleary, we thank you. And your VCAM family thanks you. And we were just glad that we were able to support you in any way we could to help this event be a success. And now we turn it over to Brother Emery McCleary with some closing remarks. Whew. It's been a long day. We, myself, on behalf of our senior pastor, Reverend Kevin Alexander, we like to thank you each and every church that came out here tonight, you know, to celebrate with us our, uh, our men's annual uh, musical. Next year, we want this to be bigger and better, okay? And uh, we want more men to be filled in these pews. If we reach out like, like the Reverend said and the Dr. Williams said, we reach out to the young men, we will have this, these pews filled, okay? Also, today we're gonna honor uh, two personnel that's really close to me, and we all work at UTEP, so it's no bias now. <laughs> we all work at UTEP. We have uh, one a man of God, and we have one man of education. So they continually to mentor young men and be part of young men's life for the rest of their life. First of all, I would like uh, Dr. Williams to stand. I would like my Latino brother that works with me. He's a, he's a man in law enforcement. Also, he's a reverend, Mr. Reverend Javier Arutia Jr. Also, like Dr. Williams said, it doesn't matter who you are or what color. We all men. Well, can I have both come down, please? We'll, we'll be giving out two certificates today. We'll be giving out a certificate of achievement and excellence in ministry. This certificate is awarded to the Reverend Javier Arutia Jr. April 23rd, 2023, Visitor Chapel AME Church Annual Men's Day Celebration signed by the Reverend Calvin J. Alexander Sr. <laughs> so 
So also, if you ever get in trouble, don't go around Reverend Garuthia. He's a retired cop, and he works. So he retired, and he's a cop at the UTEP. So, <laughs> all you young people to go to UTEP, don't mess up. <laughs> Next, I call him my little big brother because I'm much older than him. But this man has been an inspiration in my life from the first day he touched ground in El Paso. When we first met, it was just like a a vibe. We knew we were gonna be part of each other. We are the two that always put the program together for the Black History Month at UTEP for the African American uh, uh, in February every year. You can see right here, us two. <laughs> A lot of hard work. <laughs> okay. When I met Dr. Williams, like I said, I knew we were going to vibe. And when I first heard this man speak, blew me away. I mean, he blew me away. And uh, I was like, sometimes I would go home at night and say, God, how this dude can speak? <laughs> you know, I want my son to be like Dr. Williams. <laughs> I want him to be educated, you know, and I want him to be a dynamic speaker and not afraid to speak to nobody. And that's Dr. Williams. At school, him and I always get together at least once a week, <coughs> excuse me, and we, we talk on different subjects about what's going on in life today. And we came up with this theme, mentoring young men, because we're around a lot of young men each and every day. Okay. So Dr. Williams, we want to present this Certificate of Achievement of Excellence in Education. The certificate is awarded to Dr. Michael V. Williams, April 23rd, 2023. Visits Chapel AME Church, Men's Annual Day Celebration. I hope to have you here plenty more times. <coughs> Signed, Reverend Kevin J. Alexander Sr. <clears throat> Can I get everyone to give them a clap? What a mighty God we serve. I tell you what, I, the first time I met Dr. Williams was through my son, Kelvin II. He's a, he was a student at UTEP, and I, I met this gentleman, and it was amazing. Uh, and then maybe a week later, he actually came to speak here at VCAM, and I was like, wow, wow. Every time I hear him, it makes me determined to be stronger man, to be a stronger man, to stand up for right that much more. We have been blessed on this day. I uh, thank you so much for your participation and your cooperation and your sharing in, in beautiful music. God is a good God, isn't he? God is an awesome God, is he not? Uh, I don't know what I would do if I didn't serve a God like our God. Hallelujah. He is so good. Let us stand to our feet. I'm not going to belay the moment in talking, but I, I'm excited. And I, when I get excited, I start to, you know, just start to run over. But anyway, all right. God is a good God. God is a good, good God. And he's been good to us all day long. I, I don't know how many of y'all went to morning service and you came out for this. Hallelujah. He's good. Ah! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, don't, don't stop me. Don't stop me. I love the Lord. I love the Lord with all my heart. He is everything to me. And he has been everything to me all my life. When I was two and a half years old, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I just got to tell you this. When I was two and a half years old, a German shepherd from down the street came and knocked me over and took a chunk out of my neck. It was two centimeters from my jugular vein. At that moment, I knew that there was something else 
for me. I was in pain, but I knew there was something else for me because it didn't kill me. So I knew that God had a plan for me. See, sometimes we think that the tribulations and the trials that we go through are because we did something wrong. And what it actually is, is that the devil has tried to take you out because God's got a plan for you. He's got a plan for your life. And he has something inside of you that he needs to come out. That he needs you to share with somebody else. No, no, no. I'm not looking over there. I'm looking at you. He has something in you that he needs you to share with somebody else. Nobody can do it but you. Nobody else can do it. He has a special assignment just for you. Just for you. And once you start to hear his voice and move out on that assignment... It's going to blow your mind how your life is going to start to change. Hallelujah. Let us look heavenward. Father God, we thank you. We bless you, oh God, for all that you have done on this afternoon. The songs that have been risen up to your ear, we hope they came up as a sweet perfume. We pray that they went up to you as a sweet aroma, oh God, because that's the way we sent them up. As a sweet aroma to your presence, oh God. As a worship offering unto you. Father, we bless your name. And as we leave this place, but never ever, ever leaving your presence. Protect us, oh God. Go with us as we leave this building. Go with us as we go to the next destination. Be with us throughout this next week. Ah, glory to God. And Father, we will continue to praise you. We'll continue to bless your name. We'll continue to worship you because you are God. Ain't nobody like you. And we love you. In Jesus' name, as the people leave, let them all say amen amen and amen there are refreshments in our uh, fellowship hall please because we can't eat all that cake ourselves please go and get some cake and some drink please it's please go and get it please god bless you you are dismissed <laughs> please go get some cake please uh, i'm already looking like i too much <laughs>